Okay, okay, cool. So when it comes down to it, man, like that's why like a lot a lot of this stuff it applies for any business, like your sneaker business, your wholesale business, any kind of business, any any small business owner where we're trying to, you know, run an advertisement to get someone to click on it. And 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 normally yeah. that upfront offer is something for free, something of value, something for free. And that can apply for anything, man. Like the skills that you have right now, man, I'm telling you right now, Ethan, the skills that you have, you can go, you, you can literally go and approach any small business owner in your town and, and, and run Facebook ads for them and capture leads. And they'll pay you an, a, a handsome amount every month to do it because all it comes down to for any business, if you're a yoga studio, a coffee shop, a, a local gym, a local, private small dentist a local chiropractor it doesn't matter like any small business owner here's what we're doing we're running a facebook ad we're getting them to click on an offer and and we're giving them something of value for free in this case it's it's a it's a it's a pdf and again so mm-hmm. apply that to anything if it was a yoga studio okay click on my ad go to my landing page and download your free 7 day pass Right. So you can apply that for a coffee shop. Click on the ad, go to the landing page and download your free coffee, your first free coffee on us. Download, click on our landing page and opt in and download now. It's the same strategy for everything. So 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 once they do that, in your case, once I go to your landing page, I enter my name and email and I and I download your free PDF. I then come to your thank you page. This thank you page is your money. This right Mm -hmm. here is your money. So, so de- okay, again, depend on your business, but every business, it, it, it's all the same. We all have that next thing to sell them. So, so in that, in this case, for example, I go to your thank you page. What are you really trying to do? What's your main objective? Like in your case, your main objective is to get me on the phone. Yes. Like you'd love to talk to me. Like if I'm a homeowner and I, and I just, I just opted in to download your seller guide or whatever it is, 10 tips to sell my home for cash fast, whatever it is. If I'm downloading that, then obviously that's my interest. So I opt in, I come to your thank you page. Tell me what I need to do next. So you're so close. Watch video on what to do next. So when you get to this page, again, a yoga studio, a gym, whatever, in your case, wholesaling, okay, great. Tell me what to do next. So in this video, there's four points, four bullet points to always hit on. And again, it applies for many, many different businesses, all the same. Number one, I'm thanking you, right? So that's what you're probably doing in this video. Number one, thank you for downloading your free PDF. In this PDF, I cover this, 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 and this. It's going to help you sell your home fast for cash. By the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Ethan, and that's when you go. That's number two. So number two, number one, thanking them. Number two is introducing yourself, a brief introduction. And then number three is telling them to check their email. And, and there's psychological effects to, to me. It, it, it's a psychology thing when I'm telling you to check your email because now I'm getting you in the habit of checking your email. And it only takes one. So I'm telling you, go check your email. I just emailed you your PDF. And by the way, Make sure you look out for my future emails because over the next few days, I'm going to be educating you on what it takes to sell your home fast for cash. So don't miss an email, right? So that's number three. Bullet point number three is I'm, I'm already training you to check your inbox. Look for my emails. I got a ton of value coming your way. And then number four, number four is the money shot. Number four is the money bu- bullet point. Number four is telling them what to do next. What's the objective? What is your objective? Your objective is to get me on the phone. So tell me that number four is to is to tell me to click the button below. So scroll down. There needs mm-hmm. to be a button right below this video. So so uh, just have the yeah we're gonna add a like button. an actual link right here. Yeah, we're we're gonna add a button. Check. Okay. So so what we what we want to do is we want to number four bullet point is to schedule a call. And 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 again, this applies for either those businesses that are looking to get someone to schedule the call. Like I'm in the business of getting people to schedule the call. You're in the business of getting people to schedule the call. If you're if if you were in the business to make a sell, okay. So I just I just I just got you to download a um um a free coupon for seven days of our local gym, right? But the moment mm-hmm. you opt in, and the moment you you enter your name and email, and you come to this thank you page, on this thank you page, it's going to be a video of me 
Number one, thanking you. Number two, introducing myself. Number three, telling you to check your email. And number four, giving you a one-time offer. So if I was looking for appointments, I'm going to get you to click the button to schedule a call. If I'm selling something, I'm going to give you that one-time offer right now. Hey, guys, and by the way, for those who just downloaded our seven-day pass to our local gym, what we're doing for a special one-time January offer is normally our packages are $99 a month for our newest gym, and, and, and you guys are going to love it. But because you got this far and downloaded your free seven days, what we want to offer you one time is a one-time $47 where you get month-to-month -month for the next 12 months, no contracts, blah, blah, blah. Right? You see how I'm trying to sell you something now, and I'm giving you a one-time offer on this thank you page. Mm -hmm. So in your case, okay. you're not you're not selling anything, but if you were – Again, a coffee shop, a, a freaking whatever, bro. The skills that I'm going to equip you with, you can literally go and apply that for any small business owner from this point on. Like the skills that you should now have, you should never be broke. Because at your age, you can literally go to a local business owner and run Facebook ads and capture leads for them. And they'll pay you anywhere from 1000 to 1500 a month to do that. You know, so, so, yeah. so that's why this oh. right here, landing page, thank you page. Or it, it's super powerful. So, so in your case, what we want to do is we want to add a button, and we want to we want to add a calendar. We want to tie the calendar to that button. So, so let's um let's look for buttons to the left. I think it's under components, and let's just um let's just add a button, and we'll let's put the button above check your email. So click on buttons, and then just grab grab any of the different designs. Is it here or is it in? Yeah, is it be. icons? No, it might be section. Actually, okay. right there, right? But buttons, buttons. Yeah. So you got different styles, okay. you know. Look um, at all of them. You can um choose from any of them. I feel like this one looks good. Yeah. So click, drag, and put it above. Check your email. Um, oh, trying to do that. Oh. Oh, you don't have a you don't have a mouse, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Um. It's it's just not here. Your um, cursor? Yeah, my cursor. Okay. So let me um let and, and well here's what I can do. Let me let me share my screen and I'll just show you how to do it. Okay. So let me know if you can um let me know if you can see my screen. Yes, yes, I can see your screen. Okay, cool. So let me let me log in real quick and let me show you um, how simple this is. Oh, uh, I also think that our last video, I never got the email for the recording. For our last video? Okay. Our I'll last medium. Yeah, yeah I'll, our I'll last video. over to you. Okay. So this is this is like, for example, like the link that's in my description of my YouTube videos, for example, right? This is this is the simple landing page. And, mm -hmm. and all I'm doing in this case is I'm giving a free cheat sheet for Facebook ads. Like I just I just made a quick PDF and laid out all the different um, um, custom audiences and custom conversions that are important for any business to, to set up, right? So here's my basic landing page. This is what people see in, in my YouTube descriptions, FB ad, FB ads cheat sheet, uh, dot com. They come here, right? Simple, simple landing page. They click download, they download, and then they go to a thank you page, right? This is the thank you page over here. So this right here is what I wanted to show you, and it's just a simple button. And, and what I have set up is I have it delayed by just like a couple minutes. So when you come here, when you opt in and you, you come to this thank you page, it's me on video. It's me on video. Thank you for downloading your free cheat sheet. Watch this video if you want to capture more leads, make more sales, and build a huge business um, without blowing your money on Facebook ads that don't work. So simple, simple video. And then right below it is a button to schedule a call. So in the video, I'm telling them thank you. I'm introducing myself. I'm telling them to check their email. And then I'm telling them to schedule a call. Now, I tend to talk a little bit more. So this video is a little longer. It's like seven minutes. But um, yeah. But that's the whole point of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you for downloading my uh, free copy of FBI. See, so and, and at the end, I'm telling them to click the button to schedule a call. And then down here, just some testimonials. Um, and then and then here's just like a little little 
you know, bio on me. Um, and then, and then that's it. And then, but, but again, my whole, my whole point of telling you all this stuff is that the objective, the call to action that's on the thank you page. And that's in, in your case. And in my case, it's, it's to click and schedule a call. So that's what you want to do is you want to simply come into the page. Let me show you how to do it. You just simply click, come in, click on edit. <coughs> and then all you're going to do is simply go back to the buttons. You'll drag over a button and then you'll link it to a to to your cart your calendar that's it so um and then when you drag over that button sometimes it's 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 not aligned so you'll just want to align it it'll, you'll be maybe it'll be to the left so you'll just want to align it so it's it's um it's centered um and i'll show you how to do that so right below right below that video mm -hmm. here here's my here's my button right so let me go back up all i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over the button once i drag it edit and then i want to align so again when you drag it over it might be to the left so just open it up and then click on a line right here at the bottom. So you'll center it. So oh, okay. it to be to the left. So just make sure you hit center and then apply. Um, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the link and I'm going to scroll down and link it to a Karcher calendar and then just choose my calendar. Mm -hmm. And then I use an overlay pop up. So you can just use that one. And now that, that, that allows them to just simply click <clears throat> and that calendar pop, pops up. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. They may not want to go to a separate page or something for it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can just simply leave them on the same page, leave them on the same page and, and allow them to just simply pop up that calendar from there. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm, sorry. Yeah, could so. be more helpful today to see my stuff. What's that? Uh, I'm sorry. I just uh, wasn't prepared enough for Oh like no, man! It's have. all good, bro. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. So, so um, what you'll want to do is just test, just test the funnel. You know, make sure, make sure that um, that email comes to you. Make sure that everything in the email is okay. That first welcome email, you know, obviously is the most important. You know, mm -hmm. the moment they opt in. But if I was able to get, if I was to like change the thank you video, put the put, you know, connect it to the calendar and all that stuff um do four emails and um i'm trying to think uh get the rest of the pictures and all of that stuff done for the ebook i would we could go ahead and then at next meeting start running ads yes dude heck yeah that's all okay. that's all that's all that's all there is to it it's just making sure that the landing page is is up to up to par and the thank you page and and those emails you know, are, are ready to go out. That's, that's it. And it's really, again, it's not all the video emails that will come over time, but at least mm -hmm. put together, like, at least put together, like, like a few of them, you know, like, like a few of them, you know? So, yeah, because, because again, in yeah. The, yeah. The, the reason why that's so important, the reason why your emails are so important is because X amount of people are going to, let's just call it, let's just call it freaking what it is. Let's call it, let's call it freaking Let's call it, let's call it what, it, let's, let's call it, let's call it two out of every 10. Let's call it two out of every 10. Two out of every 10 people who land on that thank you page, schedule a call. And yeah. the other eight that do not, your whole objective is to get them to schedule a call via email. That's why the emails are so important because I'm not just sending you emails for the hell of it. Mm -hmm. I am sending you emails very specifically to get you to schedule a call. So for example, in the emails, in the emails, what you want to touch on is the PDF. So what they just downloaded, what they just downloaded is what you should be touching on in the emails. So yeah. if it's a, if it's 10 tips, okay. Over the next 10 days, break down each tip. 
and how and, how far in the sequence should I make it to where they get the next email? Should it be like every other day or very uh, very good question? Yeah, do it every other day. Every other day, okay. Yeah, every other day. Do it every other day. Um, and let me let me just show you like let me show you like one of my sequences. This is for like my clients, like my actual like real estate agent clients. Like that's what I do, you know, full time is I teach real estate agents how to do all this stuff. Um, it wasn't until I really, it, it wasn't until my my YouTube channel, you know, started getting some momentum where different businesses started hitting me up. And I'm like, man, the same stuff I teach real estate agents, it applies for any business. So mm -hmm. that's why, that's why I started teaching other people. That's why I'm teaching you, you know, cause it's the same, it's the same for every business. But, but in this case, what I have set up is, is, is I have like, for example, so when I onboard a, a, a social media client, a real estate agent, someone that, that I'm actually going to be helping a lot, I onboard them and they'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight emails. They'll get eight emails mm -hmm. and I spread mine out over five days because this is not a... This is not a lead that I'm trying to get that I'm it is a lead that I'm trying to to upsell and help them with something more, but it's a lead that already gave me money. Like they already gave me money up front. So I yeah. don't need to bombard them with emails every damn day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'll just spread yeah. out the emails and 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 then and then and then nurture the lead that way. So I'm spreading mine out every five days because the only people that are on this list is literally someone who just gave me their credit card number five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, it's, a different, it's a different type of nurture. It's a different type of lead. It's already a mm -hmm. client, but but it's it's yeah. the same thing. It's the same same thing. So so, just wanted to say hello. Have and and then from from the second email, and on, I'm educating them on what's next. So so in your PDF, you know what? Let me show you a better example. Let me show you my actual PDF. Let me show you my actual ebook. This is my 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 ebook that I again that I have set up for real estate agents, but it's this one down here. It's the five steps. So this one right here. This this is what I started with a couple years ago. I don't really market it. In fact, I'm getting I'm getting ready to start running ads to it again. Um, I haven't ran ads to it for about a year um, because I'm just on to mm -hmm. other stuff now. But I'm actually going to go back to running ads for this PDF, and it's the same thing. Once you download my PDF. Then you go to my thank you page where it's me giving the five bullet point or the four bullet points, thanking them, introducing myself, telling them to check their email because I just emailed it to them. And then number four, telling them to click the button below to schedule a call. The two people who schedule a call out of 10, I'll get that call. We'll, we'll, we'll be, you know, it'll be an appointment. But the other eight, those are the people that are going to be in my sequence. So in my book, in my PDF, I'm talking about five steps. I'm talking about five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. So the moment you download my book, you're now in my email sequence and mm. immediately you're going to get a, 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 an email to download the book. But one day later, one day later, I'm going to start educating you on each step. And so when it comes to the emails, all I'm doing is I'm just explaining a little bit about what step one is, and then I'm directing you to a video. So, mm -hmm. so, so for example, here is the, the, the oh, okay. And it says on the recipients, if I guess you can put a tag in there that says anyone that is a, you know, an already client, you don't send them that video, uh, that email, yes, right? And yes. Now you're learning. That's why the tags yeah. are so important. Let me go back. Yeah. That's why the tags are so important. Because in the recipients, yeah, if you, if you, because again, my whole objective with the actual, um, um, with the actual email sequence, my whole objective is to get you to schedule a call. But yeah, if you're already a client, like that's why right here, look, so let's, let's change this. Let's change this. If you're already a client, it's not anyone reaching this step. I'm glad you brought this up. As I get ready to really mass push this again, this is very important for me. So I'm glad you brought this up. If you're already a client, but you happen to go download my book, mm -hmm. like in my emails, <clears throat> my emails are designed to get you to schedule a call, right? So I don't, I don't need you to yeah. do that. So, so this is only going to go to this. Okay. So I'm going to does not have tag. 
So it's going to be does not have tag. So if they do not have inspired digital, if they do not have, um, actually it's going to be Facebook ads for beginners. So if they do not have the coaching client, if they do not have that tag, send them this email. Yeah. Or, or if they do not have, if they do not have, let's go down to my clients. If they do not have this tag, then send them this email. Right. Okay. So, yeah. So that right there, that's why tags are so important. That's why I love Kartra. All this automation is so, so important. Um, and most softwares don't, 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 don't have all this. So th this is, this is my blueprint right here. The people who are going to receive these emails, this is the recipients. They do not have the coaching client tag and they do not have the, um, the, the client tag. So mm -hmm. I click on edit and now those two tags apply to the recipients and that's who will start getting these emails. So, so again, back to the email real quick and then, and then I can end it here or, and then whatever you got, but, but I wanted to show you this cause this is super important. Cause yeah, this is where you're at. You want to finish these emails real quick, but at least yeah. just you down. So, so in my case, it's a five step. It, I'm teaching five steps in my ebook. So, so email number two, hope you're well and crushing it today. In chapter four of the social real estate agent, I'm sharing with you the top five steps. Jack, even if you think you're a super master black belt social media marketing ninja, 99% of agents miss this step. Out of my 5,000 friends, you know, on my personal page, 4999 are real estate agents. Trust me when I say this, everyone misses this step. I truly believe it's super important when it comes to your social media branding, and that's why it's step one. Watch the video here. So what I'm doing is I'm just explaining a little bit in that email via text. And then my whole objective is to get them to click and watch my video. And so here, right here, let me get this link. This right here, all they do is they click on it. And then I take them out to another Karcher page. And this is where now, again, the eight out of 10 that did not schedule a call with you on the thank you page. The whole mm -hmm. purpose of these emails is to now get them to schedule a call. So I just take it up a few notches and actually do it in video. So rather than writing you a long ass boring email, I know everyone yeah. rather watch a video. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking you so where out. Would you, uh, where would you upload the video in Nicartra? Where would I? Yeah right over here so you just simply the same way you did your thank you video right over here to my videos oh, oh okay yeah so did you upload your thank you video here yes yes i did i just didn't know um yeah if if it was going to go to a separate carter page when you clicked on that in the email or yes yes it goes to a separate carter page so for example okay. this is my whole funnel so if i go to if I go to my um, book, this is my book funnel. So I took you, you went to my landing page, you downloaded, you downloaded the book. You then go to my thank you page, which is actually this one. You go to my thank you page and you watch the video. Some are going to schedule the call right away and most are not. And so yeah. the ones that are not, they're now in my sequence. And so now they're getting this page, email number two, because email number one was the email with their link to download. And in that first email, the one that goes out immediately, I'm not trying to get them to schedule a call right there. They already got a chance to schedule a call on the thank you page. They didn't do it there. Okay, well, ease up, simply email them what they wanted, and that's it. But the very next day, that's when step one of five starts. So the very next day, now I'm shooting for the appointment. You know, so, so I'm sending them in the email, what click here to watch my my newest video and all i'm doing is i'm taking them out to this page and then a, and then and then a, and then a, a couple days later i send them out to step two of five a couple days later step three of five right so all i'm doing is i'm taking them to a, a separate page and and this happens to be a youtube video but but in your case you could just you could just upload it to kartra i have it on my youtube channel because i'm building a youtube channel so i'm i'm just you know i just have the damn video here on my youtube but but all I'm doing is I'm taking them out to a Karcher page. And, and the reason for it is because three reasons. Number one, 
I'm Facebook pixeling you. That's number mm -hmm. one. I'm Facebook pixeling you. <clears throat> number two, I'm able to keep your attention on this one video. The attention. If I if I linked you out to my YouTube channel, before you know it, you're watching, you know, you're you're coming. I link you out to the video, even though it is my YouTube video. I'm not linking you out to my YouTube channel. I'm linking you out to a Karcher page because if I linked you out to my YouTube channel, before you know it, you'd be watching videos on Ben Shapiro. You know what I mean? Like, because now okay, yeah. you're over here and now freaking, you know, everything is so freaking overwhelming. So I want your attention. I need your attention. So it's this one video that you can click on and I can at least keep your attention a little longer. Yeah. You know, that's number two, the attention. But number three, it's the button. So my whole objective, man, in that email sequence from, from step one to step five is to simply get you to a page to have you watch a video where I'm visually and verbally telling you about that tip, but also telling you to schedule a call. So, so in your emails, you're either, that's why I think video is powerful, man, because you're either going to have to write all that shit out in a damn email to get me to schedule a call. So you better, you better be very, very good at copywriting because it's going to be, that's going to be a very, very freaking detailed text-based email, or mm -hmm. you just keep it simple, write a couple sentences and link me to a video and tell me in your video, tell me to schedule a call in your video. Tell me about tip one in your video. Let me see the real Ethan. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That, that right there is powerful, bro. Like that's powerful. Like pe before you know it, people that, yeah, the people that did not schedule a call with you on the, for, on the thank you page, a few mm -hmm. emails down the line because they're actually enjoying your videos because you're actually bringing education and you're bringing value and you're not just pitching. These videos are not pitching. I'm not pitching you shit. I'm educating you. I'm teaching you what the damn step is. And because I'm an entrepreneur and because this is my business and because I'm a freaking closer, I already know that you're not going to be able to do it yourself. So why don't you click the button below and schedule a call, right? So, so in your case, you're educating me on what to do, but it's not like a homeowner is going to sell their house on their own, right? They need you. So yeah. educate them. Tell them everything about the, the, the freaking ins and outs, bro. Don't hold anything back in your content. Don't hold anything back. Tell, tell them everything about, about the process. And, and, and you just need to know the fact that they're not going to be able to do any of that, any of that without you. It's either yeah. you or go hire an agent. You know what I mean? So, so at the end of the day, people are going to love the fact that you are transparent and that you're laying it out on the table. And that's why they're going to want to work with you. Because everything you're teaching them, they're not going to be able to do themselves. They're going to know that they need you. So they're, they're going to end up coming over here. Man, I keep seeing this guy's video. I like this guy. Let me, let me, let me, let me schedule a call and talk to him. You know, and then they end up scheduling a call. So the sequence, man, the sequence. How did you um, put yourself like up in the corner like that? Right and here? then, uh, no, uh, back on the video. Yeah, like this. And then you were able to see your screen. Did you do this with like Adobe or something? No, dude, that's Zoom, bro. Zoom. You just go into Zoom and you just you just share your screen. And then and then and then you know you go on video, obviously, and then you just you know um move the little square. Oh, so I, you don't have to have anyone in your meeting to just go ahead and record this? No, hell no. I all my damn videos are are on Zoom this way. Oh, okay. By myself. Yeah, dude, all my videos. Zoom, I use the free account. Um and I just share my screen. I go on video and I, and then you have the ability to move. Like I could have moved my, my picture. I could have put that anywhere on the screen, but I put it up mm -hmm. in the top, right. Just so, because, because if you look at it, the positioning of the top, right, it looks that it looks like I'm looking at what you're looking at. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like that. I just wanted to, yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure how you did it. I tried to do the thank you video or one video like the, that I posted to Facebook uh -huh. and I didn't know how to do it. Yeah, so. no, for sure. For sure. Just move that, move, move your, move your square, move your, your picture or your, mm -hmm. yeah, move your, move your, move you up to the top. Right. And, and yeah, man, just explain what's on your screen and, 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 and that's what I would do. That's why in real estate, bro, like there's so much you could talk about. But, but again, stay on topic, stay on the topic of selling, stay on the topic of, 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 of 
of cash, stay on that topic. Don't don't start educating people on all kinds of other things in real estate. There's so much to know in real estate. Like, yeah, don't talk about <clears throat> crazy things like 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 foreclosure or short sales. Don't educate me on anything else except for what the hell I opted in for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, so 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 yeah. So write up a few emails. Get your thank you page video done add a button so so again if i go back to that yeah actually yeah i already showed you the button so just add a button link it to your calendar and that's it dude once that pdf is done we go straight into freaking conversion ads and start getting people to download it mm -hmm. yeah that'd be awesome yeah yeah dude. i can get those i can get the emails done and you know put a button on the thank you page redo the thank you page add pics to the video i can do that within like the next two days yeah, dude, knock it out, and then let's chat. Let's chat right after that. Okay. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Man. I'm sorry I couldn't move or do anything, but no, bro. I'm I'm glad we covered this because this is what what you need to know. No. Yeah. 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 Right? I was really glad that we did this meeting. Yeah. Thank you. And then and then you uploaded your your PDF to my memberships already, right up here in the files. Um. No. Is, is, no, is, is I the PDF complete either. or it's not complete yet? I have to put pictures in there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Cool. Yeah. And yeah. I gotta get complete? the. Yeah. Yeah. I have to put pictures in there and then, uh, he's not gotten back to me with the ebook cover yet, but I used the exact same guy that you did. Oh, awesome, man. Awesome. Cool, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So once you get that back, get the, get, add the pictures and, and add your contact information and all that stuff. And then, um, and then, and then turn it into a PDF and then just simply come over here to my memberships, hit the green one, upload, and then just upload that file, put it in, okay. maybe put it in a category and then upload mm -hmm. file. And then once you click on that, it's going to bring you over here and you just look for that PDF, hit open, and then it'll freaking add. And then, and then, and then all you're going to do, all you're going to do next, actually, yeah, let me cover this real quick. Once you have it up here, then you're going to get URL and that's your link right there. That would be like you'll turn into a button or no, no, no. That's your, just the link for the emails. Yeah. That, that, no, that's the link for the PDF. So, so that's your link. No, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, that, that would be the link that you would put in your emails though, right? Yes. So, yeah. so for example, like, let me go to, let me see if I actually have that email here because what I do, and this is something good to know. And I, I'm sure I actually, I don't know if I covered this before. When someone opts into a landing page, okay. Mm -hmm. When they go to your landing page, they enter their name and email. There always needs to be an email that triggers immediately. No matter what business you're, yeah. no matter what you're offering, no matter what it is, if you're getting someone to opt in, there should be an email that goes out immediately based on what they opted in for. So, so in Kartra's case, I can have that email go out immediately in the form, or I can have that email go out immediately in the sequence. So if I have a sequence and I have 10 emails in that, in that sequence, I can have the one that goes out immediately email number one, email number one of 10. Yeah. Makes sense. And that's mm -hmm. what I normally do. So I normally will have that email. The first email that goes out immediately, I normally have that in the sequence. Okay. Not, not in my forms. I don't, I don't send and it out. I guess the first one that you may should just be like an overarching beginning topic. Like it was in the ebook. No, the first one is the, is the ebook. The first email is the link to download your PDF. The second email that goes out tomorrow, oh, okay. I'm already trying to get you to schedule a call. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so in my case, step one. I thought one you were already trying to put a link or trying to get them to go to their uh, ebook in the thank you video too. The, what's that? I thought you were trying to get them to, to go to their ebook in the thank you video. So then once they open up their first email and they see their ebook, Mm -hmm. What else do you put in there? That's it. In the in the email, like for example, here is my email. Here is the exact email that goes out instantly the moment you download my PDF. I actually have it set up in my forms. Normally, again, okay. I would have it in my sequences in my communications. I'd have it email number one of 10, for example. I would normally have the first email in the sequence. But in this case, I have it in my form and that's perf I'm going to give you a perfect example. Here's the first email. So you download my book. Here's your download, Ethan. 
right? I'm always using first name. I'm always using the dynamic variable. I copy this and I'm trying to put their name all over the damn email. I want to say their name okay. 15 times, you know? So that was another thing I was going to ask. Yeah. Here's your download, Ethan. And then Ethan, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it for you. Read it ASAP so you can keep up with the training emails I have coming your way. These are the top five steps holding real, realtors back from capturing leads and building a personal brand on social media. In the past 10 years, I've literally spoken to thousands of brokers and agents and 99% miss these basics. Read the book and execute. Look out for my emails in the next few days. I'll be showing you via screen share the top five steps. Tomorrow will be the first email and it'll be titled, here's step one of five. Chat soon. Click here to download. And then I also linked the image. So I add I added the image and then I, I put the link right there. And then I have yeah, the button. Yeah. I hit the button and then boom, there goes my download link right there for the PDF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talked about giving a um a 3D rendition. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So okay, cool. so 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 in this email, I'm not saying nothing about scheduling a call. I'm just bringing value. I'm just bringing value. I'm telling you to, hey, man, Should look out for my emails. In the thank you page, like have it be one of those dynamic variables. The what? The, could you, can you have like dynamic variables in the text that's on your thank you page? No, so good question. Good question. No, you actually can't. I don't think you can. No, that, that's a good question. I don't, I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. But yeah, that would definitely be in all of the, the emails for sure. Yeah, in the emails. So this goes out immediately, and then and then after this, you always want to hit save, hit save, hit save, and next. And then and then once they they um, um, opt in, I'm tagging them, I'm subscribing them to a list. Um, I don't subscribe into a sequence here. I don't do advanced automations there. Um, just save and next, finish, and then they receive that email instantly. And then tomorrow, now my sequence begins. So it's now the sequence. And so in this sequence, here is the book one right here. In the sequence, here's the starting rule for the sequence. So the starting rule is anyone who I believe it's either opted in or is on that list. You can set it for however you want, but normally I'll go list. So this right here, I think it is list. So if I click on edit, this is the starting rule. Anyone who is subscribed to this list gets these mm -hmm. emails. So they opt okay. into the book. Instantly, they're on that list. The sequence, the starting rule reads it. And anyone who is subscribed, they're going to get these emails. And, that, and I, used, I used subscribed because... The, the reality is, is that after a few emails, some people may unsubscribe by the time they get yeah. down to four email number four, maybe, maybe they don't like you. Maybe they just, you know, don't want your emails anymore. So they go and unsubscribe. So the starting rule is anyone who subscribed. So, so that's, that's why they'll get these. And then I can go into the recipients and I can, I can really filter it with the tags. How do they unsubscribe? What's that? How do they unsubscribe? Very good question. At the very, very bottom of any email, you'll have the ability to unsubscribe. So with Kartra, it's the same. At the at the very, very bottom, they can click unsubscribe or they can or they can manage their, their email settings. I think oh, it so is. it's nothing that we have to do personally. It's just already there. Yeah, it's already there. Like it's already there in the in the email. Like it's on every email, okay. like, like even okay. open up, open up one of, open up the last email that I sent you and look at the very, very bottom. Yeah. You know, it should say something like unsubscribe or yeah. Any, every email provider has that every email, not Gmail, not if you're sending personal email, but any email from like an actual, you know, company or whatever, like a business, like there's mm -hmm. an unsubscribe option at the bottom of every email. Yeah. And when you when you're building all of these emails, you just do it through my communications, and then it's just the tags and the lists that hold everything together. You're not making it through a legit funnel, though, right? Or a campaign. Um, what do you well? What do you mean campaign? It's, it's a sequence is is part of 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 the campaign. A sequence is your is your automated emails that follow whatever campaign you know, it may have been. So, so if anything, you want to, you want to make sure you name them, name them 
correctly, like the list. You want to make sure you name the list. What I would do is I would name the list exactly what I'm naming the sequence. And then, and then, okay. and then whatever that name is, I would also name it exactly as the category. So whatever that category is, I'm going to also name my sequence that. I'm going to name my list that. I'm going to name the tags that. Right. So I'm going to I'm going to make yeah, sure everything yeah. is tight. I'm going to make sure I, 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 I don't you know, miss anything. And that's what you want to do. You want to start categorizing it um, by 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 the names that you're given everything. Make sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. I'm just trying to uh, think. Yeah. For me building um, these emails, I would just go into my communications, though. Right. Yeah. My communications to the left. And then you would and go to build, um, okay, right, and here. just start building my first sequence. Sequence, and then all you're gonna do in your case, your first one, you're gonna click on the green button. You're mm -hmm. gonna name the sequence, and this public description is what they see at the is what they see if they go to unsubscribe. So, okay, if they go and click on unsubscribe at the bottom, this is a simple description of the email list that they were on. Yeah. Okay. So, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this. Thank you for downloading. Let's just name this demo. And then we create. So this sequence, now I'm in the creation mode of it all. So now, see, this is a whole nother call right here, but I might as well show you right now because this is where you're at. So now I'm in the actual building of it all. So I can go start and rule and I'm going to go list anyone who is on this list. Click on add click on save and then now I come over here to the top left. I don't need any of these right now. I'll teach you about all that other stuff later. Right now let's just focus on send email. So all okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to click, drag it and drop it right below. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to drop it and now I go into the building of it. So now again, the first email I would set it, set up everything through the sequence. Don't do it through the form. The first email that goes out immediately do it right here. Do it okay. right here. Let this be email number one. Let this be the, the, the first email with the link to your PDF. This is right here. So so in this case, I'm going to go right after previous step. Mm -hmm. So the moment they opt in, boom, they're going to get this first email right away. I leave all this as is. I don't touch none of the day and time. Click on next. Communication, first email. And what I do is I, I, I name the broadcast, and I'll show you where this is at, the communication. I name the communication what I name the subject line of that email. So, so here's, here's your ebook. So if that's gonna be the subject line of my email, that's what I normally name the broadcast under communications. I name it the same. Um, and I'll okay. show you why, I'll tell you why. But here's next. Next, you wanna make sure that this is your email. This is the email that's tied to, to your Karcher account. So mm -hmm. make sure that that's your, your email. Hit next. And then the recipients, the recipients. This right here, we already set the start and rule. The start and rule was anyone who, who lands on that list. And so in this case, I'm going to make sure this is where I can put my tags if I wanted to. This is the recipients. So I can put my tags here. So does not have tag. And I'll go, um, let's just go this one and we'll go coaching clients. Okay, so they if they don't have that tag, then allow them to get these emails and then hit next. And then we're going to go single email next. And then here goes the actual email. So now I'm in the email field. And so what I do, here's your dynamic variables right over here. I just copy and then, and then control V on a PC on a Mac. Yeah. I don't know what your paste is on a Mac, but you can't just right click and paste. You actually have to hit the keyboard. Oh, okay. Um, so whatever it is on Mac, however you paste, that's what you would do. You can just copy it and then paste it. And then um, and then what I do is I go into advanced. In advanced, you can come over here and you can look at full templates and you can just use any of these Karcher templates and then you can just build around it if you want. Like you can, you can like I can click, I can drag, I can drop. And, and then, then just change just, what you want. Yeah, dude, I can just change. I could change everything. I can change the color. I can change the image. I can change 
one, two, three. I can change. So glad you told me that. Yeah, this looks so much easier. And yeah, dude. And then and then here's what happens. I can I can link up all my social media icons, click on the Mm -hmm. pencil and then and then put the URL to my link right there Um, and then change out the 2016, 2021. Right. Put the company, put your company name. And then here's Mm -hmm. what I do. Once I complete the template, whether I'm using Kartra's or I'm building my own, I can come over here and I can build my own. I got all these headlines. I can I can click and drag it over. I can I can build around the Karcher template, whatever. I can do everything. Um, so many different things, images, buttons. I can add a button. Click here to download your PDF. Like I can I can add everything. I can hover over it. I can change the color. I can change this right here. I can change the text. I can save the color. Um, I can do all that in here. But here's what I do do for sure. Once I complete that first email, I want to save as template. Oh, okay. And I'm going to use that, that template. same exact template for every video. Yes. Or for every email, I mean. Every email. For every email. That's what I do. So now, now, as I go into email number two, so let's finish this real quick. So let's just hit next. And then we don't need any automation. We, just, we click create. And then we come down to the actual back to the dashboard and then i click i hover over the three dots i hit activate and then i connect the line just like that and then up here at the top i can arrange items and line it up that's email number one now i go to email number two i click and i drag it right below i want to park it right below and drop and this is email number two and now email number two i'm going to wait a number of days I want to wait one day, you know, make this go out the next the following day. So wait mm-hmm. one day and then send it out. And then next, leave all that the same. The communication, this is going to be step number one. Step or something step like that. Step number one. There you go. Step number one. And again, match that with the title of the email. Um, there's my email. And then, or there's my, yeah, my email address. And then the send if you can do the tags or you can go anyone reaching this step and I just click add and then I go um, and then I go next and then single email next and then here goes the content. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go advanced step number one. I'm going to go advanced right here and now I'm going to click design templates, my templates, and I'm going to drag over my template. That's awesome. And then just really is. just build around it. That's all, you know, yeah. build around it. Um, and then I don't need to save any more because, you know, I already saved it. So, mm-hmm. so I'll just continue to use it over and over and over. And that's this one right here. So in my case, you know, I got this one. That's why in my emails, it's all about that branding, man. Like in my emails, it's the same damn picture that you keep seeing. Just like on my YouTube thumbnails, it's that same damn picture. And what I do is I just simply, and you can X out, you know, everything. I can X out anything in the email. Um, so let me just show you, show you mine real quick. My template. Um, very simple, very simple. But um, so there's that. And then my templates. And then I can, I can get rid of the template if I don't want it. Like I, I don't need to save it. I can just delete it. And then, so here's my template, just click drag. And then, and then in my case, here's a video I just shot, right? So I'm always trying to get you to, to a Karcher page to watch a video, man. And that's right here. So in the image, there's my image and then boom, click on the edit and there goes my page. So, so my whole thing is to get you to always click in my email to come to an actual page where I'm Facebook pixeling you. I keep your attention on this one video for as long as I can possibly keep your attention. And then I have a call to action button getting you to schedule a call. Okay. Yeah. So no, that's, yeah. that's my email sequences, man. That's how I, how I, how I rock the emails because again, in your case, in our case, it's, I need to get you on the phone. So I'm going to do that via email. And once you have a shitload of emails, bro, once you have people downloading your book and people are really digging it and you got, you know, freaking a hundred people in the email sequence, getting these daily emails on automation while you're in class, like literally, bro, these emails are automated while you're in class. 
you're going to be yeah. coming out of class and having appointments scheduled. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. Yeah, so, <laughs> so hopefully, bro, that's that's the leverage. So you want yeah. to make sure that these sequences are up. You want to make sure that they don't end it. Don't just put seven. Put freaking seventy seven. You know, just keep adding yeah. to the damn list. Mm -hmm. Keep adding to the sequence. Keep coming up with new emails to add. Until to the they're a client, they should keep getting it. Yeah, bro. Sure. Until they're a client, or they freaking unsubscribe. Yeah. You know, so so work on that, man, and I'll be a message away. Get everything done, and then let's chat in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't take me too long. Okay, sounds good, E. Talk to you soon, bro. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye.